Hey guys, it's Kirsten. I'm going to um, put, I'm guessing, Grandma and Grandpa into this picture. Okay. All right, I'm going to do my best. And I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put the kids on a different layer. So I'm going to get the, uh, what's it called, object selection tool. And I'm just going to tell it to select the kids. I only really need their heads. So we don't need to be like too, too crazy. That was a hot mess. All right, so quick selection tool, put it on the plus sign. And I just get a little bit, actually the only kids we really need are the these two in the center. So that's probably fine. We'll refine edge that in a second. And then is it the shift that makes it negative? No, is it the alt that makes it negative? Yes, hold down the alt key. To take away, add, take away, add, take away, add. Okay, I don't think it really matters, but okay, that's probably good enough. And then we're going to hit select and mask. I'm only, like I said, I'm only really concerned. I don't know where grandma and grandpa's hands are going to go, but I'm really only concerned in the middle of the sofa. Okay, that's probably totally fine. I leave these at the default settings and make sure your output to a uh, new layer with layer mask and then hit OK. Turn the background layer on. So now the kids are on a separate layer. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with grandma and grandpa. We're going to do object selection. Let's select and mask. And again, if this was my client, I'd be like going a little slower. I'm just kind of quickly showing how you add people in. Okay, we're going to just select her hair and then new layer, layer mask, blah, blah, blah. Okay, perfect. And we can fix his little, his hair and everything later. Okay, so now we're going to get the move tool, or you can control C, control V, copy and paste. I like just dragging and dropping, and I think we're going to go over here. Yep. Let's zoom out a little bit. That looks great. Okay, so let's smallen that up where it looks a little bit realistic. can't tell how big they should be. Actually, one thing I usually do is compare head sizes. Like her head is probably full grown. All right, so that looks probably good head size wise. Okay, so we're gonna put them, line up the wood of the sofa, so that looks good. Double click. Now we're gonna take the kid layer and drag and drop it on top of the grandma layer, grandparents layer. Okay, I can see a little bit of, you know, boo-boo and caca and whatnot. So I think that would be on the kid layer. So let's put the, select on the kid layer mask. And let's get a soft brush. Um, bracket key to make it smaller. Oop, opacity at 100. There we go. And we're just going to. Okay, let me just see something. Okay, so that might be on the... All right, so on the grandparents layer, whoops, we're gonna hit X. Well, shit, you can blend that in later. 
I'm not gonna fuss with it right now. Let's go back on the kid layer. And this is only because I was a little bit sloppy with the selection. So you can, you know, deal with it later. Grandpa's. You get the idea though. You just work in a couple layers. And then what I do is I, if you turn it off and on, You can see where the boo-boos are. Okay. However, honestly, if they were going to print like an 8x10 of this or something, you would never, they would never be so like nitpicky or whatever. I think they would just like be happy to be there. Um, I'm going to click on the background for a second. Things like this. Um, circle, backspace, content aware. Um, little things like that I would... I'm um, just clean up the image a little bit. Backspace, content aware. Um, I would also, I don't know if content aware will do it. Cause it's, are you kidding me? No one ever calls my landline, ever. So it looks like I'm going to go bye-bye.